Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on Irish radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday, we pit three of team off the ball up against each other in our no holes barred quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. It's been a while, but here are today's contestants. Our first contestant today sprinted to his local tattoo parlour after John Egan's goal on Wednesday and got the face of the nation inked on his chest. He pulled the plug after Ronaldo's winner, though, and is now walking around with half of Stephen Kenny's face tattooed on his body. Ready to get the job done with three points tomorrow night. It is Phil the Power Egan. Morning. You're welcome back, Phil. Good to have you. Yeah, yeah. I was all set for the, the headlines to be written uh, yesterday morning. Egan scores the winner in Portugal. Ah. You know, that's what I dreamt of as that a kid. Was, that was the joke, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, <next week. laughs> that was fine. I thought that's where you were going. I was like, I was obviously, he's got to get John Egan and claim some. Oh, no, it's Stephen Kenny's half face has got tattooed. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, it's good that your workshop is in the live environment though, and well done. Bad start, bad That's start. Uh, our next contestant today is constantly refreshing the Kildare GEA homepage, waiting for Comunicado Oficial on the future of Jack O'Connor. He's looking forward to having his heart broken again, to feel that acute sting of a departing manager willing to abandon their adopted county. Give it up for the artist formerly known as the mustachioed menace, Ger Gilroy. Welcome, Ger. Yeah, it's nearly November again, the mustache is making a comeback. Is it? Yeah, nice. Course. I, I was, you, so is yours. You just don't know it, Jess. I don't know. Yes, I was. Um, I was watching Ted Lasso yesterday and admiring his beautiful tash, and uh, that is the barometer. Um, so that's where we need to get to this November. Jerry, you're welcome back. Phil, you're welcome back. Phil's in for Tommy, by the way, who was a late pull out, and I'm going to blame that on the intro. And our last contestant today is back from his trip to Galway, and boy, is the West happy to see the back of him. He drank 400 cups of coffee of their uh, homemade crap. He said made 40 different baristas cry and declared that the West Coast produces a pathetic excuse for a flat white. Give it up for the coffee snob, Adrian, who's your daddy, Barry. Oh, and you don't know this piece of crucial information, but I did actually go into a coffee shop in the west of west of west of Galway and asked for a flat white. I was laughed out the gap before somebody behind the counter said, oh, actually, I know how to make one of them, and then promptly, or 10 minutes later, produced a latte. You can't believe the levels of disgust for me. Oh. It was, uh, I stormed out of there after drinking the latte, I imagine. wasn't that bad, actually. Oh, you must have been incredulous. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable Jack. It's funny how it's funny how Owen makes you out to be the world's biggest wanker, and then you top it. No, I, there's look, there's not, there's nothing. I can't, uh, I can't hide, I can't hide from it. Like this is like these are like caricatures. No, it's just. I like a flat white. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was it? You said in the office one time was like the ratio of milk to coffee is just perfect. It's true. As ever, the format is a classic crappy quiz with a series of questions on a range of themes and it's onto the slip and slide of trivia, which is the rapid fire round. You can podcast a crappy quiz on otbsports.com or on the OTB Sports app. And if you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps. Please send any questions you have via postcard to Crappy Quiz Quizmaster, Off the Ball Towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. Round 1 is the boring questions round. Never multiple choice. Question one for Phil, which was definitely not a question that was meant for Tommy. This year will be the first year we will have seen Mayo and Tyrone both in an All-Ireland final. Who were the counties the last time we had a first-time All-Ireland football final fixture? Oh, that's tough. Not that tough. Well, maybe it is. Um, I think I'm black. Is it Tyrone Armagh 2003? <sighs> No, it's not. No, that's what I was about to say. It's actually Donegal and Kerry. Ah. 2014. Donegal had obviously only played in, was it two, three finals before then? None of them were against Kerry and 2014 is the first time we got that. Ger, question one for you. I've got to say, I thought that question was, um, was uh, look, not to help Phil so early in this, given that he's probably going to ramp home by a winning margin of 10 points. I thought you meant the first time that we had two counties both making their debuts in an all Ireland final. That's how I, what he also said to Rome, so... Yeah, well, Toronto, Maybe it's just my, Toronto Mayo, not... Mayo stupidity. Yeah, absolutely that. Well, um, sure. Jamie McGrath is the first Meath man since who to represent the Republic of Ireland in senior international football? Um, um, is there a sub-goalkeeper? Oh... Was there a tall, red-haired sub-goalkeeper? <laughs> That's very specific, Ger. I just, I have somebody in, in my mind. All I can picture is Adam Bogdan. <laughs> Don't um, those, those words around me. It, tall, it, red-haired was goalkeeper. 
Freezing Keller. Blonde, is he not? Yeah, a bit strawberry, strawberry blonde, blonde, I guess, yeah. yeah. We actually need to find that out. Is Keller, Keller, Keller or ginger? Is strawberry blonde or you're red? Um, I need to push you on it for an answer he, here, Ger. It's called Dirty Fair, I believe. Um, Gravestack. No. Anyone know? There was none. Uh, Dara Lennon. Oh, was Adrian, question one for you. <laughs> uh, name Katie Taylor's opponent this weekend. <laughs> Jennifer Han. Boom. It was an ad for us like 10 hey, seconds ah, ago. Come on. Come on. <laughs> did you not, when, when the ad came on, did you hear that? I went, I, I heard, ah, Jennifer Han. I heard Adrian. It's it always a go-to question for Adrian. Name Kate. I remember... Christina Linder that who was a good one. <laughs> that's right. I remember giving that a stab. L- Linda Trow, I think oh, is how you pronounce Linda it. Linda Trow, that's right. Um, <laughs> we, we, I thought you'd go a bit. I'd have to say you, I'd actually done a little bit of prep. I thought you might ask who who did she beat the last time? Natasha Jonas, as we all know. Um, I was thinking maybe like how many Americans has she fought? That kind of question. Yeah, well, it's it's not. It's the the good old Listen, black and white. They're only easy if you know the answers on. That's what you're yeah. saying. Well, well done, Adrian. Round two is the painful Irish night round after Ronaldo's head killed our dreams of happiness this week. We will also walk down the painful memory lane of Ireland getting crushed in the failures of tournament qualifications past. Phil, question two for you. From the night of Henri's handball, there is still one of the 22 starting players still playing in the Premier League. Who is it? Oh, my word. Oh. That's a tough one. Still playing in the Premier League. Okay. I can't even think of the team that starts I just think obviously Kev was playing Duffer Keane oh Shane Long no of the 22 sorry, you could have gone through France as well Hugo Lloris sorry I thought you meant Ireland I, uh, he did say the 22. 22. I said 22, Stuck yeah. Stuck to a point there for not listening. So starting 11, I just, when I hear 22, I was thinking squad, even though the squad's yeah, 23. Hugo Lloris is the answer. Um, Jer. Yeah, it's Friday, lads. I'm struggling here. <laughs> I was, because in fairness, I was thinking that was a gimme for gimme for Phil. Uh, Jer, question two for you. What nationality was the referee in the 1981 clash between Belgium and the Republic of Ireland whom Owen Hand accused of taking a bribe? We're, uh, we're sluggish this morning, I think it's fair to say. We haven't had our coffee. Hungarian. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Hungarian. Hungarian? No, he wasn't Portugal. Hungarian. No. Anyone? Portuguese. Portuguese. Sorry. Question's not going your way, Phil. I would have always thought if, you're, if it's a dodgy referee and you're not sure, go Russia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Dump. Oh, you can't uh, uh, libel an entire nation, I don't think. No, you just did. <laughs> uh, what would we say? Crappy Quiz Master off the ball towers, Mark Only House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. We've lost your, by the way. We'll get him back in just a sec. That's where you can send uh, your lawyer's letter, uh, Mother Russia, if you want to get in touch <laughs> with Adrian. Uh, Adrian, question two for you. Ireland's concession of a 90th minute equaliser against Macedonia in 1999 prevented the team from appearing at Euro 2000. Who pipped Ireland to top spot in that group? You can go 2 0 up here, Adrian. Big opportunity for you. Go give me again there. To give me. Who topped Ireland's group in qualifying for Euro 2000? They finished second. They were, wouldn't have done so. Oh, he hasn't a clue. He hasn't a clue. No, but I mean, pass, that's not going to stop pass, me from, from having a stab. Uh, give us your stab there. I'll say, France. Uh, England. Uh, Germany. Try Spain. No, it's not Spain. Anyone? Croatia. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, Croatia finished third. Uh, they top weren't in my thinking. <clears throat> round three is the Premier League manager or dream team character round. In this round, I'll give you a list of four names. Two of them are characters who have managed Harchester United in dream team. The other two are real life people who have managed in the Premier League. All you got to do is name a Premier League manager. Phil, which of these has managed in the Premier League? A, Chris Hutchings. B, Jimmy Craig. C, Ian Coates, or D, Steve Wigley. <laughs> oh, so, sorry, the first one you said Chris Hutchings. Chris Hutchings, Jimmy Craig, Ian Coates, Steve Wigley. Okay, it's between A and D. I'm trying to think. So two R and two R. Ian right? Coates was dream team. He had desperate yeah. problems, yeah. Desperate problems. It was around the time Luis Amor Rodriguez kind of was at the club well let's not forget that Ron Atkinson managed Harchester United as well so there could be some yeah. crossover between real and fake here I mean yeah. could there be a trick question um, here, Phil? Oh, 
See, there's, there's a caretaker aspect to this. That's what it is. There is, yeah. Well, a, a couple so, of these answers are caretakers. I'm going to go with Chris Hutchins. Correct. You could have also gone for Steve Wigley. Yeah. You were on the right lines. Yeah. Uh, Hutchings managed Bradford in 2000, Wigan in 2007, and Wigley managed Southampton in 04. Sure, you want to come in? I there? just, um, I, I keep disappearing. It's because Tommy keeps messaging me. Not only was his late pull out uh, causing issues for everybody today, but he's also ruining my shot. That's why I'm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one out, Tommy. Yeah, stop, stop ruining Jerry's shot. Jer, yeah. uh, question three for you. Uh, which two of these? Give me any Premier League manager from these, I should say. A. Luis Amor Rodriguez. B. Velimir Zayec. <laughs> C. Patrick Doyle. D. Paul Sturrock. <laughs> Paul Sturrock Correct That was handy That was handy He managed Southampton in 04 The other one was Velimir Zayec He managed Portsmouth in 04 05 So Phil Oof, and Sher not have got that Both drawn level with Adrian Adrian to keep your nose in front You have to get this correct Which of these is a Premier League manager? A. Alain Perrin B. Francesco Guidolin C. Stuart Naismith Or D. Don Barker Alan Perrin Correct Portsmouth 05 Greedlin, obviously, Swansea in 2016 uh, was one there as well. Well done, lads. Three from three in that round. We're back on track, Adrian. You're on two Big points. Jaron, Phil, you're on one. Round four were is there, the... Were there many foreign managers like in in uh, Archester and Dream Team? Or yeah. was it a lot, bunch of Patrick Doyles? Luis Amor Rodriguez, as, as I said, uh, former Archester well, okay. United. Like realistically named foreigners? No, I mean, like, Casa Amor Rodriguez is a, is a very realistic name. It wasn't even... The, the actor wasn't even... English. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. I think his, I, I think his name is Martin Cruz, which I who mean, was doing a dodgy <laughs> accent like. Yeah. Oh wow. Classic. Wow. Dream Team really was Brexit before Brexit, wasn't it? Round four is a fun-free magic number round. Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right. If no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest gets one point. I'm going to say that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. And uh, I'm going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. The number of All-Ireland hurling titles won by Limerick. Plus the number of Paralympic medals Alan Keane has won during her career. Plus the number of All-Ireland finals Mayo have played since last winning in All-Ireland. Plus the number of laps completed at last week's Belgian Grand Prix. Your 30 seconds expire when Sinatra sings bright shiny beats. So, how many All-Irelands do Limerick have in hurling? How many Paralympic medals does Ellen Keane now have? How many All-Ireland finals have Mayo played since last winning in All-Ireland? And then how many laps did he get through in last week's Belgian Grand Prix? Tot them all up. What do you get? Jer? 22. 22, Phil? 26. Adrian? 27. The answer is 26. Oh, shit balls. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, the number of All-Ireland turning titles won by Limerick, Phil? Yeah. Correct. The number of Paralympic medals Alan Keane has won? Two. Correct. The number of All-Ireland finals Mayo has won? I put down 12. 12. And the number of laps completed last week? Total guest. I went for two. Two. Phil Egan oh, with the golden fun free I magic number round. only for Shane Hammond. I mean, Jared Gilroy is always the first person and Adrian Barry as well to complain. It's like, oh, I had a certain answers right. Do we give Phil an extra few points here uh, because know, he got a golden? I, I, let's, no, let's, no, bring, no, no, let's bring in that no. rule starting tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. And sorry, I was, there was this morning I got up I said, uh, Alexa, play OTB Sports Radio on TuneIn, and she duly did. And an old crappy quiz came on where I was making the point that this round is kind of shit because the person who is winning goes first and then just answers all the questions and the game is over and it's really boring. And actually, everybody can stop watching now because we all know Phil's going to win. Oh, no. I made the point then that we should change it and, and reverse order it. And even in this instance, I would let Adrian go last or first. Well, just that in this one no instance, sense. I would make it. But you, you are last. No. You are. Yeah, you. No, I've got a point there. Oh, I didn't get any point because Phil got a second. Hang on oh, one second. Well, so I'm last. Yeah. We've got, right. we've got Alex McCarthy in the box. I think there was four laps as well. in the you, Belgian let's, Grand Prix. Let's double check this because if this is true, then there's a brand new world order here. Okay, well, hang on, hang on. It's also 12 including replays. That's not right. It's, it's nine is the correct answer. Yeah, finals. The finals include replays. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, no, no, totally. no. Yes, it does. No, no, no. Yes, it no, does. how many years? No. Owens the quiz master. Now, We're let's see. On. If this is uh, four no, and two, and suddenly I'm in clover here, and the two lads are... No, 
No, no. Well, you're gonna trial. you're gonna have to try and find out for me pretty quickly. Alex here. is on it. Are you Alex? Um, I'm gonna have to go with the answer that's written on my paper. No, 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 um, no. We have an opportunity here to write this wrong on. Let's just press pause for one. It second. was. I thought it was. Is this means you winning, like, I mean, Adrian? No, we don't. It was two, it was a two lap. I agree. It was Hamilton Blast two lap Belgian Grand Prix farce. Is the headline I've got in front of me. So uh, we're moving on with uh, the quiz. That's that's where I'm getting. Fact my check it. Fact from. check it. I just I literally just did the fact checking is so slow from Tommy who's messaging me who apparently thinks it's also two uh, four laps I don't know where he's getting that from but I'm hearing it from two different I've people heard, I thought it was, I'd written four um, and I actually believed it was four as well it's not I'd we're moving on to four. the final our winner tonight yeah. will be decided in the round that separates the men what oh, we're moving on to the oh, final our winner tonight and we have the information and we're ignoring it like okay so like if, if he's saying so sorry you're saying you're sure it's four where are you getting the information from <laughs> this is great radio lads what I, I I just I don't I don't understand. There's a two lap minimum rule, but they actually raised four laps. It, okay, Tommy said he was listening to Alex in the box. It's two laps. It's two laps. We're, we're, right, we're go. going with two let's laps. Go. We're moving on to the final. This is all. We're moving, we're moving on to the final. Oh, uh, Tom, Tommy, the correct Tommy, answer was 26. Tom, is that, is that what Tommy has got in touch. Tommy Rooney's got in touch to say it was two laps. We're moving oh, on to the final. And the order here farce. is Phil first, <laughs> then on to Adrian, farce. and then on to Jer. Phil, are you ready? I was ready about three minutes ago, yeah. <laughs> are we ready in the box? What are the points totals before we begin? The, uh, four, two, one. Are you sure? All right, Phil. I'm on two, am your, I? Your 40 seconds starts now. Dublin's Evan Comerford plays for what club? Uh, Ballymun. Correct. Who's the England under-21 manager? Um, ah. Too long, Lee Carsley. Yeah. Daryl Horgan plays for what club, Adrian? Southampton. No, Wickham Wanderers. Name any of the host countries of the 2026 World Cup, Ger. America. Correct. Who will referee this year's All Ireland football final? David Calder. No, Joe McQuillan. Named the Mead women's football manager, Phil. Eamon Murray. Correct. Who is Manchester United's record signing? Um, oh. Too long. Paul Pogba. <laughs> Hector Bellerin signed for which club this week, Adrian? Tottenham. Uh, Real Betis. Oh, <laughs> Who was Ryder Cup captain in 2018, Ger? For which country? Uh, for Europe, sorry. It doesn't make Who is Europe's Ryder Cup captain in 2018? Europe's Ryder Cup captain in 2018 was Bernard Langer. It Thomas Bjorn. It was Thomas Bjorn. Absolutely. That is absolutely Thomas correct. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Phil Egan is, is your worst, winner. Is that the worst rapid fire round of all time? Oh, it probably is. Can we get the winner music, please, for uh, Phil Egan? Uh, he Let's is your just draw discreet. Now, this, this crappy quiz never happened. It was officially the crappiest quiz that there has ever been. Well, there's still a steward's inquiry. He did say to the lads before we started, he said, I am struggling. It's Friday, and I mean, it showed. I couldn't even remember Lee Carsey's name. <laughs> I was trying to think of Manchester United players. It's been a long week. It's Kids been are a back very long week. week. I, I mean, Everybody's a bit frazzled. I'm listening. I've we gone, have some excuses. I'm, well, I'm, I'm frazzled because we've got uh, bad information. I'm going through all. I'm going to gpfans.com. Uh, Science suggests no, Belgian double header. We'll for be back absolute to you nonsense. The week. Two lap race. I'm seeing two lap race referred to in multiple different places. All you, all you can uh, do is um, go with what's written in front of you. I apologise for the, for the delay. I'm still hearing stuff in my ear. Uh, while I yeah, farcical. Take, take it away, Phil. Is. I mean, it, like there was there was definitely spoiler in there. Somebody was trying to spoil my moment. Yeah, just really trying to destroy your moment, Phil. Yeah, um, but I think absolutely. Joke. Yeah, maybe we just put this one down is never happening. Yeah, we we should, and uh, I apologise for for that. Bernie Eccleston has blasted Formula One's handling of farcical two lap Belgian Grand Prix. Check and double check and quadruple check your sources. That is this week's Farce. crappy quiz. Phil Egan in uh, acrimonious circumstances is your champ. It's the crappy quiz. <laughs>